these TikTok, these TikToker, mm, mm, mm. these TikTokers are ruining an illegal dentist scam. Let's see what the fuck this shit going on, bro. These TikTokers are running an illegal dentist scam, and the rabbit hole goes pretty deep as there's a lot of them doing this, and the whole thing revolves around veneers, aka getting fake teeth put in. If you don't know, that's an extremely invasive procedure where a dentist will file down your teeth to basically nubs and then mount your new fake teeth on top of where your old teeth were. Oh. So we Oh, that's what veneers are. I thought they would like do it according to. I thought veneers was like they'll just put it on top of it. They have to. That's crazy, niggas. So niggas really shorten their teeth to put fake teeth on. Like a what? Nigga, just brush your teeth. I'm sorry, bro. I don't think I'd ever get veneers. Like. I think everything is salvageable, bro. Get some braces, you feel me? But then again, imagine being like 29 with braces. Yeah, nigga, get some veneers, bro. You getting got a procedure the money, like get this it. done, one would hope to have a professional dentist doing this. The only downside of that is veneers, they're not really the cheapest. They're pretty expensive, roughly $1,500 per tooth if you want the porcelain one. Oh, more. shit, nigga, per tooth? How many tooth, how many teeth do we have? Like 25? All right, what's 15 times 25? A lot of money, nigga. God damn. So this has caused sketchy entrepreneurs to find a way to cut costs to make the service cheaper. And apparently the most popular one is uh, just uh, skipping dentist school and just doing a two-day TikTok course on how to become a veneer tech. And boom, just like that, you're right off to grinding down people's teeth and making $5,000 a week. What could go wrong? Well, apparently a whole lot. So the people who are doing this are calling themselves veneer techs. And apparently this isn't even a real practice. From what I've gathered, this is like the dentist version of going and getting a BBL done in a motel. So here we have the first person. But why? First of all, bro, I feel like there's a limit, right? <laughs> You, you want to, first of all, I've never in my life met a nigga or a person just like, yo, I want to fucking be a, I want to be a dentist. I want to work on dentistry, but it's a lot of money, man. Like, what? You know what I'm saying? Like, so, so you're sure so you're not going to go to school for dentistry. I think that's the smartest thing to do. That's like me. If I want to be a fucking neurosurgeon. And I'm like, nah, but college is just too much, bro. I'm going to listen to a nigga in TikTok, bro. I'm going to listen to a nigga in TikTok. Give me a, a how to do a neurosurgery on a fucking other human being and pay him for $200. Like some things, bro, you need to go to school for, bro. D dentistry? Yes. You're playing with people's image. If a nigga mess up my teeth and I want to give veneers, bro, I'm... I'm uh, a lawsuit won't do no damage. I'm sleeping with your wife. Some family members are going to go missing. You know, I'm putting in pain. By the name of Rel Styles, promoting their services by showing a before and after of their customer. Composite veneer starting at 1500 special ends to May 31st. Oh my gosh. Apparently composite veneers are the cheapest veneers to have done. And if you're going to go through good. a legit dentist, they probably cost around $950 a tooth. A tooth. Okay. I can see why you niggas is putting 1500 But then again, it's like... Ah, hell nah, bro. I'm sorry, bro. I wouldn't even... I... That's too much to risk, bro. What if the nigga just put glue on your shit? That's too much to risk. Way too much, bro. I'm not getting a sneaker. Listen, when it comes to like my body, like a tat, imagine getting a tattoo from a nigga who, who, who just paid a, 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 a how to on TikTok, right? Paid for a membership, how to do it. And he becomes a tattoo artist. You wouldn't do your tattoos from that nigga. No. I'm not paying no I'm not paying less money for a tattoo artist. Anything that has to do with my body in terms of like teeth and eyes and body parts? No, bro. Only sneakers, materialistic stuff, my nigga. I could get a new iPhone case for 20 bucks on Timu. I could get it for 5.99. I'll go with Timu. Feel me? But like my body, nigga, you're bugging. Hell no. Oof. So $1500 that sounds like an insane bargain, but that's not the only type of content they post on this account. 
when you realize you can make over 5k a week being a veneer tech I don't know about you, but I would have take that. And it's always a black people. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. Like my culture has a way of trying to finesse everything. We, my culture doesn't even want to put the work anymore, bro. My culture does not want to put in the work. They'll put in the work doing the cheaper version rather than putting in the work that will get them the most money. They want to have fast money. But that's a weird thing for your dentist to post on TikTok. That's kind of the post that you would expect from, I don't know, like a crypto trader course guy or a uh, sports betting guy that'll uh, try to shill you some course to bet only on winners because that's realistic expectations to sell. And sure enough, they're shilling a veneer tech class. So, hey, do you want to risk it all to grind out innocent people's teeth who don't know better to maybe make like five grand a week? Because apparently they have a class for you as the description of the video says do you want to learn how to do composite veneers one-on-one two-day course includes full veneer supply kit liability waiver certificate of completion veneer list investment five thousand dollars deposit five hundred dollars wow that sounds like an absolute cash grab i guess just don't mind the alleged felons trying to train potential future alleged felons why not so again for a small investment of five thousand dollars in two days of class bro, bro five racks five racks Bro, my culture is cooked, bro. I'm sorry, nigga. Us is black. What's that mean? Would they be doing black people? Yes, black people. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? 5K. <laughs> bro, bro, I'm gonna be honest with y'all niggas, bro. I, every day, we're just hitting that stereotypical shit, bro. We can't fucking be better, nigga. We, we, we just can't be better as a, as a, as a collective, bro. I wouldn't believe a nigga named Rel Styles. And I'm gonna have to pay her five thousand dollars for two classes, bro. What are you? What the fuck I look like? Like, bro. And the funny part is, bro. Of course it gotta be a black dude. A black person. Of course. Like I can't imagine a white dude doing this. I can't imagine a white, I can't imagine a, a, a white, a Asian, I can't imagine any other race doing it, bro. I could imagine a black dude selling, selling a black person selling a course. Definitely. A pyramid scheme. Weren't Forex traders black people? Like, where are they at? Nigga, like, we are so... I'm disappointed in my peoples. Classes you too can permanently alter people's teeth. Awesome. That sounds like a great deal. Absolutely not. That is sarcasm. And as you may expect, dentists are pretty alarmed about this whole thing because this Who is wouldn't? some wild negligence and that is putting it lightly. So here's what a dentist said about this on TikTok. I am so glad that an attorney has stepped into the picture because me as a dentist, a lot of people think I'm just hating. Maybe I don't know why I would hate because I'm the one that has bro, actual degree. Bro, 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 bro. Let me, and, and then this is the shit that also pisses me off, right, my nigga? So I'm going to go off topic, right? We all know who's little RT, right? Nine-year-old, crazy, popular rapper, right? The nigga does a 20v1. First of all, 20v1 with a minor. 20v1 with a minor. Let me say it again. 20v1 with a menor. A baby with diapers. Nigga doesn't know multiplication yet. Nigga hasn't even gone to the fourth grade. He hasn't had a school crush. A menor. Lil Ajit. Jit Wu Yang and the Bubba Lang. Him. And there's 20 girls trying to talk to him. Grown ass woman. Black woman at that. Shaking their booties to a menor. Sexualizing the little child. Nah, nigga, you just hating, bro, because it's not you. Bro. What the fuck? What the fuck? I'm hating, bro. I, I'm hating. My video, bro, I, I had a video with over 800,000 views about little RT being, um, 
like being a plant and and he doesn't even know his multiplications yet bro they took my video down for hate speech <laughs> yo bro like you get like come on my nigga he's nine years old bro yes he's getting out of the hood bro he's nine years old rapping about guns and shooting other people bro why does a nine-year-old have to talk about that why is that so normal why do you see that so normalized in your head and then when i asked the niggas who are talking about i'm hating i said would you let your nine-year-old rap about him shooting people in the face and him selling drugs they're like hell nah I, my son gonna be right no he won't if you think he's you think this little nigga take uh get into the bag but your son ain't get into the bag what's the difference Telling you, bro. The, yo, bro. My my culture is fried, deep fried, and I mean deep fried. You know when you deep fry chicken, right? You deep fry chicken and you leave it there for a little too long, and then a little too long, and now you see the it goes from golden brown to like 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 wood brown, and then it's turning black. Bro, we are like sixty five percent inside black, bro. In the next ten years, we're all done. I don't even done. But I think a lot of people don't take what we say seriously and they're like, well, how is it illegal? Well, he not prepping the teeth. He just putting goodbyes on other side. It's bigger than that. It's, dentistry is not just about teeth. I want y'all to know that. It's the study of teeth, but it's about managing patients primarily. The teeth is one part of the puzzle. You have to manage patients who are hypertensive. I had a patient who wanted to come get treatment, blood pressure 200 over 150. Does your veneer technician know how to manage a medical emergency, right? Do they know how to see decay that may not be like as alarming? And do they care that it's there? Are they just going to throw the composite over it so that you walk out with a white piano key looking smile? These are things you need to consider. On top of the fact that primarily it's illegal if you go watch this video. But, you know, most of the people that go to veneer takes, I don't think they care about the legality behind it, to be completely honest. That's a conversation for another day. But I will continue to profess this fact that a veneer tag, teeth by teacher, all them things are illegal, not real, and honestly very oh, fucking... detrimental to your Ugh. health. Hurts. Until I hang my loops up. You know? Because I want justice to be served. So the lawyer that she's mentioning, she made this video. Y'all, this is just another reminder from an attorney that there is no such thing as a veneer tech in the state of Georgia. There is no such thing. This is illegal. Please don't let this man touch your mouth. I know he looks good. You might be tempted just for that reason. There is no such thing. Okay? I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. That's the fucking, I would never let a nigga. First of all, bro, not even trying to bring race into this. I don't let, I would never let that nigga. I would never let a nigga with dreads, a fucking neck tattoo, because neck tattoos are fucking deep fried now. I just wouldn't let him touch me at all, bro. For my teeth, bro? I never heard of a veneer tech. Anything that's tech, I don't really, like, unless it's technology, bro. Nails, hair, eyebrows, that's more female stuff. Why are you a veneer tech? With a neck tattoo. Nigga, I ain't, nigga, I don't trust you, nigga. It's like, bro, and I would what not he's trust doing you. Is illegal. You can check out my prior posts about Hope that. that nigga go to Thanks. jail. Then, of course, there, there's more TikTokers selling veneer courses because there's so many of them. And this one has some layers to it. Bro, and the worst part is, 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 it's literally niggas that look like me, bro. Why are we so stupid? Why are we so dumb? <laughs> Nigga, why are we so dumb? Oh my gosh, this is Forex teeth version, nigga. This is the same thing as a Forex trade teeth edition. This is volume two. Why? Niggas is adding the fruits and the wine. Nigga, we're talking about teeth. <laughs> bro, bro, we're talking about teeth. Why the fuck? Why the fuck? Is a veneer technician. Has wine in a meeting. Only a black person, bro. Only a nigga. Only a nigga would, would, would do some shit like that, bro. Only a nigga. Bro, 
A fucking veneer technician has wine in a meeting talking about teeth. <laughs> y'all y'all might not see this as crazy, bro, but I take shit like the principal, bro. The principal. Like, bro. There should be no alcohol involved. For starters, we're talking about teeth. This is we're talking about the the study of teeth and understanding the teeth and how to do something. Why do you have wine? That's pro unprofessional as fuck. And these motherfuckers think they're fucking changing the planet, bro. This these niggas probably think black revolution. This ain't no fucking black revolution. This is dumb nigga shit. Nothing like drinking rosé while learning how to Thank work on you. people's teeth for only two <laughs> days. This is so bad you would think it's a parody or some wild joke. But I guess. Bro, we're drink we're drinking roses, nigga, for two days, bro. In a in a, in, in a thing for four, and I guarantee you the shit's five thousand dollar course. You're gonna pay five racks for two days. Of course, they gotta hit you with the rosé, cause we black. Oh my god, bro. My culture is this. Bro, I I look at myself and it's like, you no, know, I'm proud to be black. Don't get it twisted, nigga. I love my melanated skin. I look nice and sharp and delicious. I'm dark chocolate. Don't play with me. But in the aspect of like my community, bro, I be like, nigga. What community, bro? We're just black people. You feel me? Like. I would love it to be a community, bro. I would love that. You feel me? I would love it for us to be just a community, bro. A community. Like, we are such a dumb... We're a dumb fucking community, bro. We are... Co we're, in a, we're a community when it comes to violence, scamming, hood rat, ghetto black people shit. We're the best community at that, bro. We skyrocket number one a thousand percent. Shooting 100% from the field, nigga, when it comes to doing dumb black people stuff. When it comes to just being regular humans, bro, we, 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 we're like, we're fucked, we're like cavemen. Oh my God. I, I, did, I don't even, I don't blame, you know, the opposite skin tone. I don't blame that at that point, bro. We're, we are adults. Those are black adults. There are black adults in this world that would rather sit in a corner and drink rosé and call that black empowerment and selling drugs rather than just fixing their lives and helping their families, bro. There are adults here that are sleeping with every female in the continent. There are adult females that are partying and calling that woman empowerment shaking their booty. They are adults, bro. We're fucking stupid. Like, literally open your eyes and understand that, bro. We're dumb. We're a lot dumber than you think. <laughs> Other races, guys, you know? Pablo, Zach, Abdul, nigga, no racial. We're stupid, bro. Please, we're stupid. Please continue with the stereotypes, my nigga. Because at this point, bro... Guess Holy not. shit. Overall, it just sounds like a terrible time for the consumer, but apparently one of these guys hosting the event allegedly scammed one of their patients. I've been researching this dude right here, Devin, who works for VVS Smiles Atlanta, and I wanted him to do my teeth. I've seen people whose work that he's done. I think he did an amazing job. I wanted my teeth done by this man. So I reached out to him on DMs. So on February 15th, I booked Bro, my appointment. Bro, but he's my fucking thing. You pay two racks for a nigga. You pay two racks for a nigga. And you're gonna send him a month. Bro, why don't you just go to a professional fucking dentist? Why? 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 Oh, wait, because you don't have the money for it? Then how about you fucking work for it? And and be smarter with your money. How about that? You want to get it quick and fast and quick and fast and quick. Like, her teeth ain't even that bad. Shorty, you could have waited another year. You could have had your five racks, your ten racks, go to a professional and get your shit a lifetime guarantee. Instead, you want to get it from DeJounte Smith for two racks and get scammed. You're in Goofy. You're a goofball. You're a goofball. You're a goofy. You said McGoof. You a Jitwu Yang, nigga. Like, come on. 
pay my deposit. It was for a Valentine's special that he had where it was $2,000 total. But I paid my deposit and everything. Let him DM him and said, hey, I just want to. Did she just. <laughs> Bro, did she just say Valentine's Day special? Oh, you must be smart. Have, have y'all ever went to a professional person, right? Like, maybe a ta you. I can see it from a tattoo artist. Maybe a hair tech. Maybe a nails. No. He, how about this? Even better. Have you ever heard going to like, uh, I know it's going to sound racist. This is not racial, but I'm from New York. We call them Ling Ling, right? Do you go to Ling Ling on Valentine's Day and does, and does the price change? Or is Ling Ling still going to make you pay $55.76 for your nails? And that's Ling Ling. That's Ling Ling, bro. She do it every day the same way, the same price. Why? Valentine's Day special, bro. Yo, my nigga, we're stupid. Yo, yo, word of my mother, we are literally the dumbest group of people ever to exist, bro. No way a human being thought a Valentine's Day special to get my fucking teeth. Bro, imagine you had a fucking, uh, you have to get, imagine you had keloids in the back of your ear and, and, and a doctor that you seen on TikTok, bro, is gonna say for 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 President's Day, we're gonna all surgery is gonna be half prices off, bro. On TikTok, nigga, I don't care. My keloids are burning. I'm looking at that nigga like, nigga, nah, I don't believe you, nigga. Might infect my shit. You don't care, like you niggas don't give a fuck. And it's fucking hilarious, bro. We really don't care. We don't care. Damn, Dr. Umar, do something about this. Let you know I paid my deposit. He was like, okay, great. I'll see you next month. Everything was all good. No issues. Here is the reminder email that I got the day Goofy. before my appointment. Her, Again, her I teeth ain't even that bad. Like, eh, not that bad. From Dallas to Atlanta to get my teeth done by this man. So I'm excited. I'm pumped. I'm like, hey, I'm going to go back to Dallas a new female. whoop de whoop very, very excited. So on the day of my appointment, I show up early because I'm not familiar with Atlanta like that. So I show up to make sure I am on time. When I get there, both of the doors to his suite is locked. So I sit at a that chair that's next to his suite and I'm sending him an Instagram message at the same time. He's sending me a message too. Someone stole my whole ever machine out of my room. I'm going to have to refund you and pay you for your... We are really, we're really a dumb group of people. We really are, are a dumb, we're, we're stupid. You're, we're, we're really stupid, bro. Like, we're really fucking stupid. Nigga, you're black. Okay, first of all, I don't even care that you're black. But it's really black people that deal with this shit, bro. Like, like, I look at us sometimes, bro, and it's like... Can I really blame a person looking at me weird? I can't, cause we are, we're 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 so stu we're so crazy and delusional to blame that dude for the our oppression. But we wouldn't like. Who are you gonna blame for this? Besides yourself, this nigga started with an emoji, bro. A grown ass man. <laughs> Yo, a grown man. Yo, if a gro Yo, my nigga, if I pay two racks. Yo, my nigga, if I pay two racks to get my teeth fixed and a grown man who is a, a professional in uh, dentistry, a veneer tech starts off with an emoji, I'm, sh yo, nigga, I'm becoming a nigga. The niggas of niggas, bro, shooting up the whole spot. Talking about someone stole my whole freaking machine out of my room. Does that even sound believable to y'all niggas? Bro, we're fucking dumb. We're what? fucking dumb. What? How does that happen? <laughs> I have never heard that coming from a dentist. Yo, Imagine having your dentist either. appointment canceled 
because their equipment was stolen? That doesn't happen, but it gets so much worse. And I'm like, hey, I'm up here. The door is locked. Do I need to knock on the door? And this is us missing at the same exact time, okay? And I'm like, excuse me? What do you mean your machine was stolen out, out, out of your room? You can't do my teeth. I flew all this way for my teeth to get done. Because you're stupid. So at this point, I am very upset. Y'all can pop. Really? You don't say. You don't say. You're upset? You're upset that a scammer scam your ass. You're upset. Wow, it's almost like, it's almost like, it's almost like, that's what the fuck you got for being a dumb ass idiot. Wow, it's incredible. A scammer just scammed me. Wow, who would have seen that shit coming, bro? Nigga, my great grandfather who's 96 would have seen that shit coming, bro, and he's blind. What the fuck wrong with him, nigga? Now three. <laughs> Now and so at this point, I am just livid, livid. So he was like, I'm going to compensate you for your flight. And I'm like, no, sir, you're going to compensate me for my flight in my hotel and my deposit. That's what you're going to compensate me for, sir. So he said, send me the receipt. I did. My total flight in room was like, I want to say 869. He sent me 850. OK, you know, he cashed at me the 850. So I'm like, OK, what about my deposit? That's five hundred dollars. So he says, I'm about to send. At this point, I said, I'm crying. I'm very upset because I'm thinking that you're about to do my teeth. So I'm like, you won't hear from me no more. Just go ahead and, you know, send me my money. He goes on to say he don't need my money. <sighs> Oh my gosh, only conversations with my people, bro. You go in and get shit like that. Yo, you're such an unprofessional ass nigga. Nigga, put the emoji. Come on, bro. I wouldn't even have said, bro, I wouldn't even have said you won't hear from me no more once my funds are received. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even say that. I would've been, yo, suck my dick, bitch ass nigga. Give me my fucking money. Fuck, bro, what I look like texting a, bro, what I look like texting a nigga and trying to, Give me my fucking money. All of it. Pay me for my shit and my 500. That's it. I don't need your money. Okay. <laughs> you know what you're going to need? A hospital, nigga. You better be a hospital technician too, bitch. And so on and so forth. Well, then you, where is you, my You deposit? technically started it, though. You see? You, don't, you won't hear from me once more. No need to be rude. But it's like you started it. Like, yo, my nigga, we really are like, we're really such a nye, 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 uh, nye, nye, uh, nye, 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 need to be rude. Um, but you, you won't hear from me once more. Yo, mmm, mmm, puta, mmm, mmm, mmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna watch this video, bro. This so shit got me hot. So he sent me this screenshot saying that the deposit is gonna be sent back to my card. I have yet to receive the deposit. Have not received anything since. So I reached back out to him to be like, hey, do you know how long it's gonna take for my deposit to come back on my card? What's going on? He blocks me. That's what your Juu Yang ass get. Never offered me an apology. Never said, I'm sorry, my bad. You know, I can reschedule you or nothing. In fact, some lady that was at his suite said that she worked with him before and he was never on time or he would not show up. She would end up, end up having to take his clients. And then she's told me that he only does mixed breeds and light skinned women's teeth. <laughs> mixed breed? Bro, okay. whoa. whoa. Whoa, what the fuck? I'm sorry y'all hear that motorcycle on the back. We got a we got a motorcycle dude taking a thousand and a half years. Go ahead, bro. Continue with your motorcycle. Jiu Yang ass nigga. But um Wow, mixed breeds. I ain't never heard that shit before. <laughs> A fucking mixed breed. What the fuck? Yo, my nigga, we're cooked. Okay, there's we're way too many red flags going on here. If someone is saying they don't need their customer's money, they are slow and compensating for something. There's a reason he has... Re really hate this nigga, bro. The only reason I pause is because he's going to be doing that for a minute. It's all good though. Let's continue. He funded that deposit. Also, cash shopping for the flight payment, that sounds incredibly sketchy because it kind of makes it seem like he's operating his business out of his own personal bank account rather Work. than through an actual business. Exactly. 
And then obviously that last thing, that is just laughably sad. Morals aside, it's also just like stupid because why would you want to limit your customer base? But remember the lawyer we saw earlier? Well, she replied to this as well. The unlicensed practice of dentistry in the state of Georgia is a crime. So I stumbled upon this lady's story. It's kind of bad. So I'm sorry. I lost consciousness, you, I'm an attorney, She's but I'm bad. not licensed in Georgia, and this is outside of my area of practice. But I did find some statutes, so let's read them. So this is from the Georgia Code, which states that things like veneers, so applying any dental appliance cap covering prosthesis or cosmetic covering, cannot be applied unless you are a licensed dentist or you're working under the prescription of a licensed dentist. Another but it's like, why are we like, why are we so dumb? Like, that's that's so obvious. That's so fucking obvious, bro. That's a collective. That's 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 just obvious. That shouldn't be a thing. That's not real. But fuck part it. of the Georgia Code, which says that it is um, a felony for you to practice dentistry yes. without a license. Yes. If you are charged with this, you as the defendant have to prove that you were licensed to do the work. And this is another part of the Georgia Code. This is all stuff you can look up yourself. Now, these are the terms and conditions for the guy that did this young lady's um, or who took this young lady's money to do the veneers. Mm -hmm. um, and he's really popular on Instagram and TikTok for veneers. Mm -hmm. And here it says at the bottom, it says that you consent that he is not a um, licensed dentist that he is a trained and certified veneer tech now i look wow and this is why niggas gotta read bro you gotta read you niggas this is why bro niggas yo niggas don't read bro they see they see a cheap shit oh fuck it bro read it bro I, I did some quick Read research it. and I couldn't find anything in the state of Georgia that recognizes a veneer tech as a actual thing. And by putting in your acuity scheduling link that you acknowledge that I'm not a dentist, I don't think really goes as far as it needs to in order to protect your consumers. Because most consumers might see tech and they think, oh, they're licensed or whatever. But according to the state of Georgia, it doesn't seem that way. This will definitely be interesting to follow as we've seen the government to start cracking down at the at home BBL industry. So the veneer tech industry might be next. Someone also mm. commented on that video saying had mine done in Atlanta, unfortunately now being asked for $23,000 to remove them and redo them by an actual dentist now. Also flew down there three times oh, because they oh kept breaking. God. But look, 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 bro. This is what I'm fucking talking about. Look at your like, like, like to the to the people watching right i know it's a long ass video what the fuck like what do you expect like realistically bro what do you expect what do you expect you don't expect a elizabeth a charlene to be commenting like that because charlene would have had them niggas shut down but you definitely expect the miss cashmere you know, the other miss over there, you know, people in my skin tone stupid enough to get their fucking teeth done for 2000, bro. Don't play with your health, bro. Don't play with your fucking health. Play with your fucking pants or something, bro. But teeth pay as pay, at, bro. Shit is expensive for a reason. Fuck out of here. What bro. an absolute nightmare. And there are so many more dentists calling this out right now. This is the removal of temporary veneers. They're used to check the bite and make sure that the aesthetics of the veneers are good. This is a criminal. This is a fake certificate. And this person is doing at-home veneers, labeling themselves as a veneer tech. Now, I know it seems like veneers are pretty easy. They're just something that goes over the surface of the tooth and it makes it look more aesthetically pleasing. But let's not kid yourself. There is a lot of stuff that can go wrong. You can have bone loss, periodontal disease that can all be undiagnosed. I wouldn't trust that nigga for shit. <laughs> I can't, bro. Yo, I wouldn't trust that nigga for shit. You bitches are delusional. I'm not even trying to be disrespectful, but y'all females are delusional as fuck, bro. There's a reason why you got your shit done. Cause that nigga look good, bro. That nigga look good. That's the only reason why, bro. <laughs> bro. 
<laughs> Yo, bro, I can't. I can't. I can't with myself. I can't with myself imagine a nigga looking like him getting my fucking teeth done, bro. You got me fucked up, bro. This nigga will get my teeth done. He, this nigga has a law degree. Fuck is you talking about? This nigga just got out of prison for scamming. He has two baby mamas. Fuck wrong with y'all niggas, bro. And a neck tattoo, nigga, you ain't touching my shit. If the person is not trained correctly. I know she feeling herself like, ooh, this is And let's not even get nigga. started oh, about God. the longevity of these veneers. Because veneers are normally very hard to keep for a long period of time. They usually need to be replaced. Because of how we bite together, our jaws are extremely powerful. So if any of these teeth are hitting just a little bit too hard, those veneers will be breaking off in no time. Yeah, it's just a terrible idea to go to anyone like this, but it just keeps getting so much worse. Oh! Oh! You can see that those teeth are almost broken down to the gun line. Those teeth are not really salvageable. Again, I'm not a dentist, but being in the medical or being in the dental field at all, I know that those teeth are not salvageable. They need to be pulled. Meaning extraction. When you just put something on top of decay, what do you think happens? It decays. <laughs> the fuck? I'm not a fucking... I'm not a licensed in dentistry, but I know if you put something... It's like putting an apple next to a rotten apple. It's gonna rot. Nigga, it's common sense. Why are people so stupid? Metal acts, like medical aspect of a lot of this, because I'm not a medical provider. But let's get into what can happen. So if you get an infection in your tooth and you don't treat it, you can get a couple of things. Infection in your bloodstream, you can go septic, which is like septic shock, and you will die within like a day or two. You could also get endocarditis, which is formation of the heart valve, which isn't really something that I'd want to play with. I don't know about you. It's medical background, obviously. But some people have to take what's called a pre-med. So before any dental procedures, they take a medication to keep their heart safe to make sure they don't get infection that goes to their heart. I am beyond shocked. I am beyond shocked. It's clear they're just using the fact that U.S. healthcare is so unaffordable to so many to just prey on those people who don't know better and can't afford better. And the sad reality is this is just going to make things worse for these patients because this is the definition of putting a Band-Aid over a problem. It's like painting over mold rather than getting rid of it. Shout out to the TikTok user Danny Banani because it seems like she's dedicated her account to calling out businesses like this. As it seems like these businesses just keep on spawning like an evil game of whack-a-mole gonna blow your mind in this season if you don't even understand now you gonna understand because he's gonna blow your mind he's gonna continue to stretch you of the first video and i said well they're using a drill on their teeth it's not just a composite overlay who's their dds who's their dmd as you can see i go to their website i don't seem to see one huh so i said okay who's the contact but right now here's the price hold on about four thousand dollars a consultation okay so i go to contact and i said well who's your dds who's performing such services hmm it would seem to be i don't see anybody the reason you don't see anybody is because there is not a licensed dentist doing any of this to hold accountable or verify credentials and because of this, it's the customer that has to deal with the consequences, like this woman who almost lost all of her teeth and had to go to the emergency room. I appreciate you for trying to accommodate the situation, but unfortunately, what I just went through, I'm not going to be able to come back. I said I got abscess on the side of my mouth. I have to go to the emergency room to get antibiotics. It's your fault. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's your fault for going to local Atlanta dentistry. It's your fault. I do not feel bad for her. I do feel bad for her that she is going through something like this. But you decided to look at a nigga or anybody of your race. And, 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 and not even do your research, bro. You looked at another black person who is doing it for a cheaper sale on a TikTok or on social media, and you didn't do your fucking research. That's the consequences of your fucking actions, bro. I'm sorry it did happen. Like, I'm sorry you're, you're going through pain. I, 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 you know what I mean? I wouldn't wish pain on nobody, but nigga, you're fucking dumb. You saw the nigga online. You checked his website. 3K. Regular shit is 950 per teeth. Got 25 to 30 teeth, I'm assuming, right? 
That's what, 25 to 30,000, right? For, for just to get your teeth fixed. You don't think 35, 30K, 30 to 35K is, is, is enough for your teeth? I think damn right, nigga. If I'm paying 35K for my teeth, nigga, my teeth better be good. I'm not paying 2K. You feel me? I'm not paying two racks to get my teeth fixed. Oh, it's just my teeth. No, nigga, this is my teeth. I'm 21. If I don't have teeth at 21, what I'm going to look like? A goofy. You're like maybe in your mid-40s. You look attractive. Excuse me, sweetheart. Those are your teeth. It's part of your body. Your body won't last forever and certainly won't those teeth. Wouldn't you rather pay 35000 than 2000 But, you know. Because I got two abscess in my mouth. I don't know if it was from your tooth. If it was from the partial, if it was from not you, uh, if it was from you not shaving it down, I don't know. But I have to get antibiotic. I got abscess in my mouth. And uh, unfortunately, I don't want you touching my mouth. What's sad is this is just the tip of the iceberg. There are so many people on TikTok promoting these services and so many people on TikTok telling about their horrible experience going to a veneer tech. And it's clear that these people are just vultures who don't care about their customer at all. As her story just gets so much worse. I said, what can we do about a reimbursement? You almost took my teeth out. I have an infection. I have abscess in my mouth. I have an infection from you. What can we do about this? She say, oh, let me call you back. I'm going to let you know what I could do. Give me a few moments. I say, okay, back, cool. 12 o'clock today, she texted me and told me she ain't going to be able to give me my money back. She done offered several times for me to come back to her office and get them re-put in. That's her solution. If I don't want that solution, it's nothing that she could do because I signed the consent. I said, yeah, I signed a consent form for you to do your job. I have an infection in my... <laughs> Yo, you're uneducated. Read what the fuck it says, bro. Read it, bro. It happens in, in, in the industry. It happens everywhere. If you don't read what the fuck you're signing, you don't know what the fuck... It could happen, bro. It literally, if you, if you, bro, it happened. Like, why can't you just read the fucking shit? Read it. She's like, yeah, but still, I paid you to get my shit done. Excuse me, ma'am. If he's not licensed to get it to, 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 by the state of wherever the hell you're from to get shit like that done, then why are you paying him to get your shit done? That's like getting a tattoo from a fucking dog. The dog is not a professional at doing tattoos. What the fuck do I expect that nigga to do to my body when he's fucking giving me a tattoo? Are we fucking stupid? God. I'm out. You could not drill those teeth out of my mouth. I had to pull them out without them being numb. And you... I got a text message of you telling me to go to the emergency room. That Do your dentist text you? My dentist don't text me. <laughs> Are you fucking dumb? Does your dentist text you, my nigga? Does your doctor text you? Your primary care doctor, does he hit you up and be like, yo, my nigga, I ain't gonna lie. You gonna have to do this and do that. Does, you, does the nigga who gave you a tattoo, does he text you? Delusional. That is just absolutely horrible. I hope she lawyers up because Word. the consent form offers pretty much zero protection Word. against an illegal business. Word. Never get any medical work done from someone who is not a licensed professional, not a two-day TikTok course. It's inevitable that people are going to go to jail for this. It's just kind of a matter of when. But if you want to check out my business that won't leave you without teeth, you can go to matt.city at the top <laughs> description down below and check out our Matt Cities. We took your childhood nostalgia, innovated on the idea, and brought it to a city near you. And we got it in both floor slash 
wall mats. And we also got them in like large mouse pads as well. Currently we have LA, New York City, and the Atozi City, which is behind me, but we have many more to come soon. So if you want another way to support my family and the channel, you can check out the link in the top of the description down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. W fucking video, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. This nigga, yo, shout out to my nigga Atozi. I don't know how you say your name, bro. You are a goat, bro. This is the best video I've ever reacted to in my life. Hey, man, um, don't ever get your shit done by a, a fake dude, uh, by scammers. Um, go If it costs 100000 to get a certain body part fixed, it's, it's probably worth it. You know, at least you won't die or get infected. Let's be smart as a collective, especially to my people. Let's start being smart, bro. It's 2024. Why are we not using our brains? We have a phone. Let's learn how to use it.